gosh, y'all. I've been sick. I feel like a dollar store discount Elizabeth Barrett Browning starter kit. I feel a vapor coming on. I think I need something gothic and dark to help me get through this. But what could it be? <laughs> something came in the mail. Let's find out what it is. Ooh, I got a pretty knife to go with it. Let's open it up and see. Let's not cut ourselves while we're at it either. Ah! Wait, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Trust me, trust me, this is gonna be great. Wait. Oh my gosh, I need to sharpen my knife. What is it? Look at this beautiful book. Oh my gosh, it's everything my little gothic heart could want. From Arnold B. Cariayo, The Tome of Apula, an incredible, beautiful book, absolutely filled with gorgeous illustrations by Tim Sheward at ourstation.com slash Tim Sheward. And it's a wonderful looking book in the first place. It's really heavy, it's glossy, look at this. And it feels like a real quality book. And it even has on the back a little quote. And it says, now these are the laws of the jungle and many and mighty are they. And we're fixing to take a look inside. Okay, I'm gonna admit that I am a fan of the Tarzan franchise. I love it. I love all the stories about the great apes. And I, so I've been sort of a fangirl for a long time of anything in this uh, genre. And when we start to see something that actually has a, a protagonist who is the gorilla, who is actually the, one of the great apes, it really excites me a lot. And I love these kind of stories anyway, all the folklore and things that go with it. And then we get Dracula out of it too. And I'm sort of a goth girl when it really comes down to it. A lot of y'all don't know, but goth is just Victorian when in black. And so I love, uh, I love all things Victorian anyway. I like a lot of really frou-frou stuff. And so this book is really hitting me on all the right notes and I'm excited to read it. And I have not read it yet. This is my unboxing video, but I wanted to show you some of the things inside. Let's look at some of these beautiful illustrations. And these are just fabulous. Like I said, the blacks and the purples and everything. We did such a fantastic job on this. So we're gonna be looking at some of these illustrations and I'm gonna read a little section from it. These great illustrations, of course, of Kel Apula. And we have these incredible, oh, I love the cultists. Those are great. The courier cleared his throat, pulled out a small tattered piece of paper from his sturdy bag and read it aloud. I, Ool, am an official agent of the magnificent Vampire King and I will now collect and deliver my master's wealth as so he willed it. He then crumpled up the important sounding proclamation in his lanky needle-like fingers and carelessly tossed it aside into the dunes. Ah. I hate this authoritative type crap. Let's get this over with, Mr. Vampire. Wool scowled as he shook his lumpy head in open revulsion at my presence. Naturally, the disgust between us was mutual, but I had done nothing to deserve his scorn. And as an actual vampire, I knew that I had deserved the respect, or at least certainly more than this Wool character was showing me. It's already exciting, I already love it, it's just great. Arnold, this is a fantastic looking book. It has great dialogue in it. I can already tell you that right now. The setup is really interesting and unique. Uh, here we have some first person perspective from a vampire themselves who is actually a great ape. And it is done with a, looks like a richness of characters. And of course, these beautiful illustrations. I'm so happy that you sent this to me and it's just coming at just the right time. It's gonna entertain me while I try to work my way through all my other little things that I have going on. At, Amazon.com for the Tome of Apula. I think you're going to really love the way this looks, and I'm really excited to read it and see how it looks on the inside, but I can already tell you I'm kind of intrigued by this whole thing. So until next week, this is R.H. Snow from Double White of Doom saying I love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>